What's up guys, it's Brev. Welcome back to another episode of What Would Brev Do? We're going to play hopefully a full nine innings today. Here is the squad we're rocking with. Just some various, you know, cards that I think are good. Uh, just mixing it up a little bit. Still rocking with Posey because it's fun. Uh, but I wanted to feature Cole Hamels on the mound in this video. I've had a lot of success with him online so far this year. I think it's a really good year for him in general. Um, and my the best way I can describe how I feel about Cole Hamels is that I think he's really easy to use and really easy to have success with on this game. He's like one of the easiest pitchers to just hop under ranked and use uh, because basically the way, the way his pitch repertoire and his speed differentials work out, uh, you can throw pitches in like their traditional spots and it works out great. So what I mean by traditional spots is, you know, sinkers low or like, Arm side sinkers to lefties, glove side cutters to lefties. Um, you can basically throw all of his pitches in their most popular spots, and that's usually pretty effective for him. You don't have to do anything cute uh, necessarily to have success with him. So uh, I think he's really good. I enjoy using him a lot. Um, his delivery from the windup is especially glitchy. And uh, as we dive deeper into this game, I will talk about maybe one of the biggest weaknesses that Cole Hamels has and how to kind of counter that. So let me pull up Twitter again real quick. Make sure we're not trying to get friendlyed. All right, here we go. So we're facing Logan Webb. Uh, this is an archetype of pitcher that you're going to face a lot. Uh, sinker cutter, throws mid-90s. You see this from Webb, from Felix, from Kluber, uh, from Oral as well. Although Oral is the worst of the four, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, what you're looking to do early in the count is lay off of those strikes on the corner. If you can, look for mistakes and then uh, try to be really disciplined and not chase with two strikes. I know, easier said than done. Great advice, right? <laughs> don't swing at pitches on the black and don't swing at balls either. Best coach ever. But uh, it's... Uh, it's especially important, I find, to be patient against these types of pitchers because they will make mistakes and they're easier to recognize since they don't have outlier, they don't throw as hard. Um, and if you're just going up there hacking at a sinker or a cutter right on the black first pitch every single at bat, you're going to have a tough time against cards like this because that's where they really thrive. So we will see how we do against Logan Webb. So far, he got me to chase a changeup with Hampson. Good to bat from him. Uh, the first time through, now, now we got Hank in the second hole, the two hole. And we're just a little bit early on that outside fastball. That was good on him, uh, throwing a four-seamer there. I was kind of expecting a sinker or a cutter in that spot, so our PCI ended up a little bit off. But pretty decent swing. That wasn't right on the black, so we took a hack at it. And uh, right back to work. Two outs now for Harper, who does get shifted, so we're kind of looking for soft stuff away if we can. Or just things up that we can hit in the air. And we'll see what he throws us here. Good sequencing from him so far. we got to lay off this inside slider now. That would be a classic tunnel off of that pitch. And he actually threw it outside. Once again, we're just a little bit early and a little bit off of it. Pretty good swing from Rice there, but we go 1-2-3 in the first. Those things happen. We, uh, we had a pretty good inning, all things considered. So now we get to work on the mound. So... Uh, like I said with Hamels, I think he's really easy to use and has success with because a lot of his pitches, if you throw them like where they're traditionally supposed to go, uh, you're going to have a good time. Um, and especially with the uh, increase in lefties you may see in lineups as you know, as we dive into Ruth and uh, Gehrig now and Rosario's a thing. So uh, his stock goes a little bit up in that sense. It's not as bad as it was earlier in the year. So... Unlike most what would Brev do's that we do, you probably won't see me do anything too fancy with this card. I think you just stay true to you know what what we know is good. Pitches like that, sinkers in on the hand to lefties. Obviously, you're not gonna get an out every single time, but <laughs> we know they're good. Those things happen. That's payback for uh, for that rocket he hit with Mantle to start the game off. A little bit harder to pitch with this card from the uh, from the stretch for sure. He's a lot slower. So the pinpoint movements are actually quite different, especially on the changeup. You can see I messed the first one up. And I'm just noticing myself so far, I haven't really challenged this guy out of the strike zone yet. So we will try to bury a changeup and see if he chases. 
And he did. Beautiful. So maybe giving this guy a little bit too much credit as we start this game off. Uh, Going to try to work off of the plate a little bit more as we move forward. He was ready for that sinker, but it was way inside, so he can't do much with it there. Now let's try to run a cutter away from him. But yeah, Hamill's really fun and, like I said, really easy to use. So if you're looking to mix it up a little bit or... You know, you have a guy going for you in your World Series game that you don't really like that much. Maybe think about giving Hamels a shot. Got him to chase again. Beautiful stuff. And we get two Ks and we avoid the cheap single that uh, left a man on base. So back to work against Logan Webb. We're going to lead it off with Posey here. And same approach, looking for sinkers or cutters middle. Obviously, if he wants to throw me floating off speed, I'll see that even faster. So, Otherwise, we are staying patient, not letting him get you know contact outs on these pitches that are really close to the edges of the strike zone. So in gameplays like this, you're going to see me take a lot of strikes, and you're going to see me fall behind in the count a lot. But I'm falling behind in the count on pitches that you know, statistically, I don't have a great chance to get on base with. Like, even that pitch, like, if that was the 1-1 pitch, there's not a whole lot of reason to swing at that because I don't get on base very often. I got lucky there. Um, but if you really lay off these quality strikes, which you'll see a lot of because their control is really good, um, you can kind of lull your opponent to sleep sometimes, and then when they do make the mistake, you can make them pay for it, so... I really like Seeger up in this spot. We just got to stay away from the sinkers below the zone. Don't want to hit into a double play. Seeger definitely not fast enough to beat it out. Ooh, he left that one over the plate, and we rip it foul. We'll see what he comes with here. Four-seamer away, and that one's going to hang up. Pretty tough there. Um, if that was a sinker, I think that would have been a perfect, perfect the way my PCI was set up. So that's a bit unfortunate. Probably should have tried to be late side of good instead of early side of good there as well. But good swing. Nothing we can do about it. Moving on, we got Kike with another shot here. Still only one out in the inning, so we are big chilling. That's exactly the pitch I don't want to swing at here. He's looking for a double play. Again, right on the black. Can't do much with it. And right on the black again, and we're luckily able to poke it up the middle. And if you notice now, that's twice to righties. He's gone slider low in the way, low and away with two strikes. So we will keep that in mind. We may even pre-put our PCI there later on. And it's right back to work. Again, taking a lot of strikes. But the strikes I'm taking are quality strikes. Except for that one. We got very lucky there. I might still be out here. 14 speed. Jeez, Buster. <laughs> Imagine if I didn't score on that. That'd be crazy. Very lucky swing from us there, and now I'm sitting sinker the whole way. Oh, and we're on top of it. He shouldn't be able to turn two here, and everybody's going to be safe. <laughs> this is the most rage-inducing inning of all time. You love to see it. So uh, it's the smart thing to do here would be to let Hamill strike out since we do have... Uh, I think we have Mickey on... Who, oh, we have Hampson on deck, so... I'm just going to strike out with Cole so I don't hit into a double play. We'll take our shots with two strikes here. I wonder if he'll go first pitch inside sinker again. He went outside. Good mix up from him. Nice tunnel on the change as well. We're having none of it though. Abusing me low and away here. Got to lay off the cutter now and the slider down there. Throws the slider front door. We're able to pull it down the line for what's going to be our second and third runs of the game. He definitely should have hit the cutoff there as well. We could have maybe punished that a little bit, but we played it safe. 3 nothing now, and it looks like he's getting the pin up already. So not the greatest swings from us that have produced runs so far, but a lot of our outs have been good swings as well. So <laughs> kind of a weird game so far for sure. Up and in to Hank, and right on cue, our best swing of the inning ends the inning. <laughs> what can you do about it, man? Sometimes this is how it be. Back to work with Cole, and we're giving up a bomb first pitch to Kike. That's a great swing from him. I hadn't actually thrown that pitch once, so good on him for uh, letting it rip first pitch. 
I need to go back to my uh, trying to get him to swing at balls a little bit more often. We kind of just autopiloted that one. Man's hitting 442 with Devers. That's a little bit terrifying. You can see now he's uh, posturing as if I throw inside to a lefty. He's got a super fast bat, so he's you know trying not to let the sinker beat him. So we're going to have to work off of it a little bit with some front door cutters and such. And a good take from him. Finally, he uh, brings it back around on that pitch, and we'll try to get it maybe some sort of backdoor sinker here. Let's see what he does with this. And he watches it. Beautiful. So earlier we tried to run a cutter away, so that's a good setup there. Just catch him looking. Now we'll run this cutter in off the plate. I thought he might want to swing at that because he did just crank one out. Uh, so if I threw it as a ball, he might see it as the same pitch and swing. Buster against the lefty is pretty scary, actually. I'm glad nobody's on base. A little bit of a high changeup cheese there. And uh, now what? <laughs> I think I'm going to try to backdoor cutter, actually. Maybe we'll catch him looking twice in a row. Whew. Beautiful stuff. And uh, now nobody on base for Chipper as well. I think pitching arm side in general to both handedness is really strong with Cole Hamels. I just think all of his pitches work really well to that side of the plate. So, Chipper bounces one up the middle, and we'll see if he pinch hits here. I was just about to say this is uh, a definitely a good pinch hit spot if he is inclined to, you know, if this is his World Series game or he just really wants to put all his eggs in this basket. It's definitely a good pinch hit spot. So, we will. See if we can survive this onslaught here. We get him swinging early at the four seam, and we're going to run it down with Hank, and that is massive for us. We get a starter out of the game after two innings. I imagine we'll see a different one now, but still huge. It is a reliever, Josh Hader. Okay, better than I was expecting. But we faced Posey into Chipper into Bregman there with a lefty and didn't give up a run. Pretty good stuff. Already into the bullpen in the top of the third now. Same approach with Bryce uh, as earlier. Shift's on, nobody on, so looking for slow stuff away where we can beat the shift or just things up in general that we can lift. And we are just under that belt high fastball. Maybe not as high as I should have been looking for, though, but decent swing. Just dropped under it a little bit. Can't just let him throw pitches like that and you know not take a hack at it. It's a pretty hittable pitch, so here we are. Now we get our posy against the lefty. And I think that's a fly out, as it should be. PCI not on the ball at all. And okay, it's gone. I don't know what's going on actually. Is it gone? <laughs> okay. Terrible swing. Posey goes deep against the lefty though. Now we get reverse split Seeger. Same approach as Harper here. It sucks that uh, so many good lefties on this game get shifted. It's kind of a bummer. I'll take my cheap home run, though. Punish immediately for going to the pen. And again, staying to our approach. We know what we're looking for in these spots. Hasn't thrown us one yet. And he does finally go away with two strikes. So that's on me. I should have probably predicted that because that is now three times this game that he's gone to two strike slider low and away. Twice with Webb, once now with Hader. So that's going to be the pitch we need to lock in on later on. And a fastball in there for a strike, one and one. And he'll take a look at Beautiful dots there. Nothing we can do with those. Borderline pitch right there. Back door slider, we take it the other way. Is it gone? It's off the wall. I think I should be safe at second. Yeah, we're in there easily. Uh, we're now looking at a spot where he could walk me to my pitcher here too, so we maybe need to be a little bit aggressive, especially with Carpenter with reverse splits as well. Um, that was a good pitch to swing at, but I was talking. Feels bad. Oh, chipper! Well, now he's going to walk me. <laughs> Dang it, dude. Good play by Chipper, knocking that down. If he doesn't walk me, we got to swing at anything in the zone. He didn't walk me. We swung at anything in the zone, and it gets down. I don't know if we score 43 speed here. 
We are going to try just because the pitcher's on deck anyways, and we're out. Dang it. Good throw by him. I think if he didn't get a perfect throw on the relay, I was safe. But uh, that inning's basically over after that anyways. Basically, we risked, you know, making it out next inning with our pitcher leading off for, for that run, which I think is a good risk. So we make it 5-1, to one, and that approach, that at bat with Hannes Wagner in the 8-hole is something you'll see me do very often. Obviously, in my opinion, the best play there is to walk me because you're not going to give up a run to my pitcher most of the time there. And uh, he didn't walk me, so uh, we need to make sure we punish that by at least putting the ball in play and giving ourselves a chance before he figures out that he needs to. Nice little circle change off the plate there. Got him to chase it. Pops out to Posey. Uh, that was a scary swing. That could have been pulled for a homer for sure. I'm going to try this inside change up just to keep him honest on these inside sinkers. Nice check from him. Now we'll go sinker, but we'll throw it a little bit higher. Again, I want these off the plate, keeping my opponent honest here. And he does go ahead and chase that one. Beautiful. And I'm just going to double up here, see what he does. Best thing is he can pull it foul here, I think. Or take it. Good take. And now last time we caught him looking with the backdoor sinker, so we're going to throw the exact same tunnel, but with a cutter off the plate. Hopefully he chases. Beautiful stuff. Unfortunately, he fouls it off, and so now we're going to double up. I'm trying to stay ahead of him in case he thinks I'm going to come back with that sinker now. Chases again. <laughs> Dang it, man. Now we'll try to front. Now we'll try to back door, but not with a sinker with a changeup. I missed my spot, though. He is early there, so... Beautiful. All three of those last three pitches were set up by us catching him looking earlier in the game. So he was incredibly conscious of us throwing that backdoor sinker on all three of them. It's why he swung early at that changeup and rolled it over. And it's why he chased the two cutters before. So one strikeout earlier in the game got us another ground out later in the game just by tracking, sequencing, and trying to figure out what our opponent's trying to do. Got him to chase the curve there. Hamill's only one solo shot through three. We are sitting pretty here, and we're into the bullpen, so ideally things are going to get worse for him as we go along. We have a bit of an advantage there. I did talk about earlier, I wanted to talk about the one weakness, the biggest weakness I think Cole Hamels has, uh, and that is his uh, delivery. So he's a lot harder to pick up, at least in my experience as a hitter. He's a lot harder to hit against when he's pitching from the windup instead of the stretch. And so what that means is he's more prone than usual to giving up, like, big snowball-y innings where a bunch of runs come across, a bunch of hits come across. Uh, so long story short, I think in close games, you're more inclined to give him the Blake Snell treatment than other pitchers in the game. Look at Garrett Hampson going down and getting that slider. Man, I love this card. Such a good underrated leadoff hitter, man. Uh, but what I'm getting at is, you know, the Blake Snell treatment. If he's dealing, but it's also still a close game, and then you end up in a position with runners on or in scoring position, uh, you may be inclined to give him a quick hook. That would be my best advice. But in general, still love Hamels. Good change up there from him. And uh, hopefully with the way our offense is going this game, we don't have to end up in that situation ourselves. Nice change again. We rip it, but we're on top of it with Hank. Two down now. Honestly, pretty good job from him using Hater so far. That's exactly the pitch we're looking for, but we're late. Couldn't quite time him up. Good pitch again. So far, he's only slide step fastballs as well. We'll keep that in mind. That was right down the middle 0-2. I will take that. And a little bit of a rally here now. We'll see if he takes Hater out to face the righty. He does not. So much faith in Josh Hader now. This is so greedy. Got to make him pay with Buster here. Staying outside from me. Good pitching. And like I said, he's only slide step fastball so far this whole game. So that's an easy quick bat. Unfortunately, it's only a single. Try to do some damage with reverse splits Corey Seager here. And we roll over first pitch. Trying to do a little bit too much there. Uh, could have predicted the slider for sure, but good inning. We got one from Garrett Hampson. We've put up 11 hits through four so far. 
Uh, hopefully the six run offensive production is going to be enough for Cole to go all the way in this one. We'll see though. It's still very early. Very surprised he left Hater into face Posey there. I don't know if his bullpen is tired. He might not have a lot of arms available, but he caught quite the break that we uh, only hit a single on that pitch. Good swing, man. Sat back on that changeup with Rosario. Took it the other way. Good stuff. This guy is not bad by any means. So uh, we just got to keep trying to make good pitches and stay ahead of him here. Going to step off because I just autopiloted a fastball after giving up a home run. It's pretty common stuff. Caught myself slipping there a little bit. Trying to figure out how to approach this guy. He's done a pretty good job laying off the balls ever since we started throwing them. So I'm just trying to see like what kind of strikes I can get away with and what kind of balls I can get him to chase now as we move farther and farther into this game. I'm going to try to front door a sinker low here. He may be conscious of the low changeup in the dirt. Oh, just missed. That's okay. We'll work the changeup away now. See if he chases this. He did pop out on it earlier. Sat back really well on that one too. So he's seeing the changeup extremely well. Um, so to work that tunnel, we need to start throwing more sinkers and change-up spots. Something like that, where he's super late. Uh, beautiful. We'll start throwing sinkers like here as well, the one we caught him looking on earlier. Uh, because he did take uh, the Rosario change-up deep. You can see he's late again, so this is going to be effective for us moving forward. We may also have to start throwing the slow stuff arm side if he is able to react to these sinkers with lefties. He was late on that one, though. And we get him to chase again. Beautiful. Two down now. Hopefully we get out of this inning with also another solo shot. Posey into chipper is definitely scary, though. Uh, I kind of want to get at least one of the next two guys out really badly, too, because if he's greedy enough to leave Hater in for a third inning, I think I can do a lot of work there. So him getting to a spot where he can pinch hit is pretty bad for me. Nice. Sweet. And then uh, we'll throw the circle change up in the dirt again, but we'll throw it inside a little bit more, try to look like that sinker from earlier. Terrible input for me, though. So uh, can't get him to chase because no one's going to believe that pitch. We'll try to work the backdoor cutter one more time here. Whew. Dots everywhere. <laughs> I love Cole Hamels, man. He's got a 450 ERA this game, and I'm still having so much fun. He is going third inning of Josh Hader here. This is a spot where we definitely have to start making things happen. Kike is three for three, beating the shift there. Uh, and I have to imagine after Matt Carpenter, he's got to go to a righty. This would be so greedy if he left him in. Hopefully we can do some damage with Carp here, though. Make it 8-2 to two before he takes Hater out. Beautiful spot. Don't want to roll that one over here. Also beautiful spot, but we protect. Looking for something up now. Another slide step four seam. Hasn't varied it once. <laughs> I thought he would there. Oh, I outthought myself there. I thought since he doubled up on the slide step, he would go off speed. That was me beating myself, unfortunately. And uh, overall, terrible inning from us. That's about the worst thing that could have happened. That Honest Wagner swing was really good, but Chipper was playing the line. So he does get three innings out of Hater while keeping it a four-run game. Huge sequence of events for him. And a bad offense from us. Those are the type of innings that uh, you have to do to blow leads. <laughs> if you want to blow a lead, those are the kind of half innings you got to have at the plate. Happy that one went foul. Can we get him to chase this changeup one more time, man? I swear I'm overthrowing it, but I'm just 0-2 every time. I might as well try. 
Good take by him. Uh, I'm going to throw a sinker off the plate that looks like a backdoor cutter. Maybe we get him to chase. Good take. That was maybe a little bit too outside. I'll try to throw it up now. And he is late. Beautiful. And now we will try to front door this sinker. This is dangerous to Chipper, but hopefully he takes it. He was ready. Good swing. This is a battle right now. Hit him with a little 11 pie over 6 4 seam. He's early on it, but he dribbles it up the middle. So, remember what I said about the Blake Snell treatment and snowball innings. We are going to get the bullpen up now. This is, uh, like I said, Hamill's a bit easier to, to read as a hitter out of the stretch. So, I think it's fair to, uh, to get some arms warm here. Especially only being up by four. I can't throw a sinker here because he's definitely sitting on it. Uh, hopefully he rolls his cutter, cutter over for a double play, swinging early. Dang it, he swung and missed. <laughs> See how early his bat speed is there? It's because he's not going to get beat by a, by a sinker inside. We've abused him all game with it, so we have to stay away from that pitch in this spot because it's probably one of the biggest things on the forefront of his mind. Maybe we can throw it low now that we're 0-2, though. See if this can work some magic. Oh, that is so tough. Oh, he was late, too. Oh, no. That was the perfect pitch. We got exactly the swing we wanted. But he finds a hole. And now Mickey may be the last batter that Hamels faces if he gets on base. You can make the argument that even pitching to Mantle here is risky, but it's, he's a switch hitter with basically even splits, so... I don't gain a whole lot by uh, taking Hamels out here, other than a different look. Beautiful stuff there from him. I'm going to hit the cutoff. I don't have a play at the plate. doesn't matter because we don't come up with the ball anyways. And he's safe at third also. Oh, no. All right, mound visit. We'll pitch to Seeger for the matchup, left on left, and then Hamels is donezo. Hopefully it's not 6-6 six to six after this at bat. That would be very bad. We also have to be conscious of 95 speed at first here. Hamels is very slow to the plate. There he goes, taken off. And I think he's going to be safe. I didn't want to slide step there, though. I'm kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place there. Um, I didn't want to slide step and just leave a pitch down the middle. So good steal by him. This is getting really intense very quickly. Just need to survive Corey Seager here. We get him to chase. We'll throw to third in case he does some funny stuff. And we get a pop out. That doesn't bring the run home. And uh, Cole Hamill's day is done. Good outing, though, all things considered. Uh, I'm just playing a, a guy that's playing very well at the plate, and it's a close game. And like I said, Blake Snell treatment is... More applicable to Cole Hamels than almost anyone in the game just because of the way his delivery changes from wind-up to stretch. See if Mariano can get us out of this jam a little bit. You can make the argument for me to put the infield in there, uh, but because I'm up three, I'm okay taking the out for the run. So that exact scenario, we will just give him the run there and take the out so that this inning hopefully comes to a screeching halt sooner. Got to give props to this guy battling, though. This has been a great game so far. I don't know why he sent the runner there, though. Maybe he was trying to hit and run. Uh, we saw his bat off and get out of it with Mo. So Mo does his job. Two batters, two ground outs. And uh, now we can start working our own pitch hitters, too, which is, I guess, a side effect of pinch hitting early. We'll go Rosario here. Want to save Schwarber for Posey later if we can. And it uh, looks like we're going riding next inning as well. So we will go with Lee Smith, I think. Or do I want to go Dibble? I'll go Dibble, actually. Because it's close. It's a close game still. Trust Dibble a little bit more.
So against Mariano, um, obviously sitting cutter is really strong. And uh, I also like to look for floating sliders and change-ups if they try to get cute and end up missing their spot uh, early in the count. Dang, I wasn't expecting that to go right there. Mistake from him. And we take the slider, or the sinker, off the plate against the shift for a solo shot. Rosario off the bench. He's starting for me on my God Squad. Card is just nuts, man. Love that card, dude. Dang. Looked at one basically right down the middle for strike two and then took a pitch an inch off the plate the other way for a bomb. Welcome to the life of Seabrev. Front door cutter there. Is that one down in the gap? Hansen does it again. His third hit, man. This one's a double. Now we're working Hank Aaron. I'm sitting sinker first pitch all day here. Ah, he threw a four seam. Good mix up. Here's that floating changeup, but I missed it. So a couple pitches we like to see there. Unfortunately, we're down 0-2. And uh, that one, he probably tried to throw in the dirt and had an early release. We get lucky again. Hank Aaron dead center. And all of a sudden, we've blown it open with nobody out. So I'm going to go ahead and sit Dibble down and go back to Lee Smith. <laughs> we went from high leverage to low leverage in three at-bats. Amazing stuff, man. This has been such a good game so far. We have 15 hits. Woo! Just missed. That's almost the ideal pitch we're looking for there with Harper and nobody on. We just missed it and popped it up. That's the one when I pressed X I thought I was going to take it oppo. <laughs> oh, I was late timing. That makes sense. So if you think about it, our approach with Hamels too, pulling him a little bit earlier than normal. Uh, he slides up a four seam again. This is so weird that he only does that. Like, I got to imagine he's setting me up for something at some point, but he just hasn't varied it once. Posey gets, his se Posey gets his second garbage home run of the game. The ship at special there. Mariano is having a rough go at it for this guy. Rough go at it. Um, but anyway, what I was saying is our approach with Hamill's taking him out a little bit early allowed us to pinch hit and get this inning going faster as well so nice counter punch from us that was actually this offense this inning has been kind of a product of our approach with our pitcher so uh great stuff seager goes oppo that's what i thought i did with harper when i pressed the button insane man we are just torching mariano this inning he's got to get away from him kike is looking for his fourth hit Great spot there. No reason to swing at that before two strikes. And a good tunnel. Kike goes down for the first time this game. We'll see if Karp can do some damage. This has been exactly the counterpunch inning we needed, man. This has been the best thing we could possibly do for for our chance of chances of winning. Sat back too long on that one. You can see what I'm trying to do, though, with these lefties that get shifted. Looking for stuff outside, trying to swing a little bit late at them. Oh, just under that. If that was a sinker, I would have crushed it. <laughs> Great spot, though. I will take the five spot, though, man. Uh, lots of breathing room after that inning. We put on a show with the solo shots. And now we turn to Lee Smith, who hopefully can get us two innings. That would be sick. First fork ball of the day is poorly executed, but we get the swing. I don't know what he's looking for there. He thought I was going to start him off with a four-seamer. Woo! We get very lucky there. Um, I should probably stay away from sliders low and away against this guy, actually. Uh, one thing you can kind of notice sometimes is that your opponents will throw pitches that they themselves have trouble hitting. Like, if you notice how much he's featured low and away sliders, sometimes it's a subconscious thing where they throw that pitch a lot because for them it's hard to hit. Um, so by that deduction, I should actually throw sliders low and away more. So I misspoke when I first started saying that. But anyway... 
I haven't doubled up on this yet, so maybe he chases. Ooh, he wanted to. Let's try to hit him with the backdoor cutter here. It worked with Hamels. Missed our spot. And uh, now we'll just come with the four seam. I don't want to walk him here. We got a big lead, so if he hits it out, he hits it out. Late side of good there, right at Hampson. Two down there, man. A couple of good swings from him. This has been a tough inning for him for sure. Uh, now Buster into Chipper is good for us. For a righty. Let's test our theory with low and away sliders. Didn't get him to chase that one. So I guess my apologies for making this kind of like a Hamels featured video and him only throwing, what, like four and a third. But uh, it's really a testament to how I think the best way to use him is. Don't want to beat a dead horse, but Snell, tr Snell treatment very strong with Cole Hamels. And it's worked out great. And right on cue, he throws in the towel, man. I'm glad we played at least enough innings for this to count as a real game in real life. <laughs> Last couple episodes have been kind of rough in that department. This was an absolute clinic offensively as well. So hopefully you guys learned something uh, in that department also. Um, let me know what you thought down in the comments. If you made it all the way to the end, like the video and uh, subscribe for more of this stuff, man. We're going to be posting a lot of these videos towards the end of the year. So appreciate you guys' support this year. Uh, take care. We'll see you all in the next episode.